Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many drivers face the PO330 trouble code. This code relates to a knock sensor malfunction. And if your vehicle's check engine light is on, this could be the culprit. Stick around as we show you how to diagnose and fix this problem step by step. So, the PO330 code is triggered when the ECM engine control module detects a fault. In the knock sensor circuit, specifically in sensor 2, the knock sensor's job is to detect unusual engine vibrations, or knocking, that occur when fuel and air are not burning properly in your engine. If the sensor isn't working correctly, your engine could be at risk of long-term damage. When the knock sensor fails, the engine can lose performance and efficiency, and you might experience symptoms like poor fuel economy, sluggish acceleration, or even pinging noises from the engine. Foldy knock sensor. Over time, the knock sensor can wear out or fail. Damaged wiring or connectors. Corroded or broken wiring can cause issues with the knock sensor signal. Engine mechanical problems. Sometimes, engine issues like a misfire can trigger the knock sensor. ECM issues. In rare cases, the ECM itself could be at fault. Tools you'll need. OBD to scanner. Multimeter. Ratchet set. Torque wrench. Replacement knock sensor if needed. Locate the knock sensor, which is usually mounted on the engine block or intake manifold. With your multimeter, check the resistance between the two terminals of the knock sensor. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specified range, usually between 93 and 100 ohms for most vehicles. If the resistance is off, the sensor is bad and needs replacing. Once you've replaced the sensor and checked the wiring, reconnect your OBD to scanner. To clear the PO330 code, start the engine and take it for a test drive to make sure the check engine light stays off. And there you have it, we've successfully diagnosed and fixed the PO330 knock sensor. Malfunction, remember, if you're not comfortable working on your car, it's always a good idea to take it to a professional. But with the right tools and a little know-how, this is a repair that most dyers can handle. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive repair content. See you next time.